Yeah, yeah, what up, what up, what's going on, man? Salute to everybody that's tuning in, man. I know y'all see this debate going on, man. Eminem coming to battle rap. If Eminem was to come to battle rap, would he dominate? Would he be able to survive on the stage? Would he get killed? You know what I'm saying? I see Charlotte Mickey facts. And I had to think about this, right? I see a lot of, like, bloggers, different media fans... Hell no, nah. Eminem can't come back. And then you see some people looking at the benefit of Eminem stepping in the ring and battling like a Rum Nitty or a Geechee Gotti or a Tay Rock or something like that. So it's like pros and cons to the situation, right? But then I thought about it. I'm like, so if Cannabis could come back or Battle Rap, King Los could come back. Hell, Cassidy, if Cassidy can come back to Battle Rap, and have a, a lackluster fucking debut battle. Took him maybe like two, three battles to kind of like somewhat get a little better. But still, all in all, Cassidy is not a really great battle rapper. He's more so a name. He he does more he does more better in the face-offs than he does on the stage. You know what I'm saying? So I say all that to say this. How the fuck do y'all not think Eminem with a bigger fan base than Cassidy? Couldn't come into battle rap and dominate. Hell, bro, do you know the, the impact an Eminem would have if a league like King of the Dot or RVE or URL was to announce Eminem battling Summer Madness, Blue Room, Blackout? What? Bro, that shit would shake the culture. That shit would be on all the news channels. I'm talking like your regular news, <laughs> all your top media uh, platforms, like the coverage in the light forget forget if he's good just think about the 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 amount of publicity on battle rap that that will have you know what i'm saying like the exposure that that will put on the leagues and then the exposure that it will give to the other battlers you you put you upload a battle featuring eminem on your youtube channel bro that youtube channel is going to get I, I guarantee you over a year it's going to get at least 500,000 subscribers easily Easily. We're talking about Eminem, y'all. And yes, 8 Mile was a movie, so I'm not being gassed. But there is actual footage of Eminem rapping and battling. There, there's people that co-signed it. Guys like Marv One, Trick Trick, Fat Joe. Like guys that co-signed said they saw him battling in Detroit. So I'm just like, I, I thought about it. I'm like, bro, if anything, niggas should be championing. And encouraging Eminem to come to battle rap. You know, he tried to do it with the total slaughter. You know, he did, he did I think, uh, the, the total slaughter thing in the house with the battlers, which was a great look. Then he tried to do the event. You know, it didn't go so well. But he has a high level of love for the culture. So I know if he was going to battle, he definitely would take, take it very seriously. You know, he would be open to constructive criticism. He wouldn't be like some of these guys that come in this culture that haven't battled in decades and come in here with a chip on their shoulder, like a Cassidy, like a King Los. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell them nothing. Like, they can't do no wrong. I don't see Eminem. And Eminem is a bigger, he's a bigger rapper, bigger artist, and a bigger name than, than all of them niggas. But I can see him being very humble. Not even say humble, but... You know, being very receptive to, you know, feedback from the fans, from the battlers and things of that nature. What can I do to improve? Like, I I can just tell, yo, just from people that have talked to him and his love for, like, battle rap and his love for just music, period. Yo, dog, man, Eminem, man, come to battle rap, bro. Come to battle rap, man. It's a lot of money over here, man. And if he were to come, listen, he ain't got nothing to lose, bro. He's already a legend. He's already set in stone. As one of the biggest artists in hip hop history, he's already set in stone. So what does he have to lose? Hell, I just saw The Rock. I didn't even know The Rock is back in WWE. He's a legend. He don't need to be fucking wrestling. He's rich. He's one of the top wealthiest fucking uh, entertainers slash athletes in the world. But he still has a passion and a love for for wrestling. She's like, you know, let me go back. You know what I mean? Let me shine some light. Let me help build up some more guys. I feel like Eminem doing that, depending on what platform he, he goes to, 
But I could see that, like, kind of like, yo, let me shed some light and give back to the culture. Even though he already did with Total Slaughter and, you know, the competition in the house, he already pretty much did that. But I'm not just Xing him out like he can't compete. Like, bro, y'all let Cassidy get on the stage. Goods, Hitman, Arsenal. You mean to tell me Eminem can't get on the stage and rap? Now I understand the ribby ribby raps and all that. There's, there's leagues for that, bro. Nobody says he has to go to URL, okay? He can go to King of the Dot. He can go to iBattle, okay? There's other leagues that are big leagues that he could go to and, and make a huge impact. It don't need to be RBE or URL. It could be a small league or it could be a King of the Dot, and it still will be impactful because it's, it's, it affects the whole culture, bro, the whole culture. The Eminem fans that don't know shit about battle rap, see Eminem come to battle rap and see Eminem, you know, praising these battlers and they come across them and come across their music. Bro, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. So I think you niggas need to just think about it from that perspective, man, before y'all go in a tangent and a rant saying niggas is crazy, niggas is, you know what I mean, all that other stuff. Just think about it, man. I think it could be really, really impactful. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy a little under the wind. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fighting it. You know what I mean? My body's fighting it. Everybody getting sick, you know? I, it's crazy. I went through the whole 2023 and I did not get sick, bro. Like, I think I got sick around this time last year, but it was only for like two, three days. And it got out of my system. I think the same things happened to me now. I went through from February all the way to fucking December. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? But a little under the weather, but... It ain't gonna stop this hustle. Um, there will not be a podcast this weekend due to me having to do some traveling, but I will upload uh an episode from the PodCon conference that I attended. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check out some of the interviews that I did upload onto the channel. It's very, very, very informative information, man. If you're a content creator, you're a blogger, or if you have a business, like they're dropping a lot of gems in there, man. How to start a company what things you need, what websites you can use that's affordable. It's a lot of jewels in there, man. It's a lot of jewels. Check it out, man. But let me know what you think about that Eminem and Cassidy in the comment section. All right, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Acito.